pack up with positivity. <laughs> I'm such a loser. I can put on my glasses. I wanna love, 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 love. Every day and every night, every night. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So I'm very happy to see everybody here. I hope that you're in good spirits. I hope that everybody is good. Today we are going to do something a little bit different. I am going to write a letter to my younger self and I'm going to read it. Um, this month is National Youth Month in Jamaica and the focus is on mental health awareness. So the other day I was at um, a conference with high schoolers and it was talking about taking the next step and a student asked me a question and uh, this is what happened. How do we as young people learn how to cope with disappointment during the transition period? Bobby? Yes. Bobby? Excellent question. Look at you or something. There are people on the internet who will put up these videos and who will tell you, oh my god, you must be positive and you are the best and look in the mirror and see your affirmations and everything. But you must also give yourself a chance to grieve. When you go through disappointment, you must be honest with yourself and say, I am disappointed. You think more than get the work, but we never get the work. I'm gonna put in so much effort to get the work, but we never get the work. I'm gonna vex never get the work. No, after you be honest with yourself, you know, that is step one. When you go to step two, you know you say, What can I do? What can I learn from this? And then you take it now, you know, and you digest it, and you say, all right, no, I'm a bigger, I'm a better, and you grow from it, and you don't dwell on it. I was so triggered by the question, because I remember when I was in high school, oh my goodness, every single thing used to go through my head. Am I going to be successful? Am I going to make it? Am I too black? Am I too light-skinned? Am I too this? Am I not enough of this? And I remember, like, just going through so much self-doubt, and I think if I knew then what I knew now, what I know now, I probably would not have been so hard on myself. But funny enough, all those experiences wrapped up into one is what made me who I am today. I think writing a letter to your younger self is so therapeutic and it's so important because it allows you to put things into perspective and allows you to say, boy, you know, probably I can be grateful about this now that I'm going through now or where I am now. But before I get into more preaching and talking and yapping and yipping, do not forget to subscribe. Hello, give me a S U S. How do I spell subscribe? I do not remember because I keep on S U B S U B sub right. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe guys. It is free and I am extremely grateful every time one of you hits the subscribe button. So get on it. Okay, let me get my glasses. Actually, I don't know if there will be a glare. Let me take it off. I chat too much. A letter to my younger self. Dear Shane, at this point, I'll say Dear Shane because this is how people know you in high school. But I promise that somehow, people are going to come up with a variation or a nickname for you that is more than just a name. It's going to become a brand and you're going to forget sometimes that your name is Roshin and not blank. I'm not going to spoil a surprise for you, so look out for more. Roshin, you're not dunce. Yes, you literally got 25% in Mr. Chambers' math exam. And yes, you've never been ranked higher than 15th in your high school class, but hold steady. You're much smarter than you think. But here's some advice. Stop wasting time trying to be a star in the sciences because you feel like that's what everybody else is doing. Yes, I know you think you should be a doctor, but child, you're going to get the shock of your life. Try and do well at what you're naturally good at. Stop pressuring your little brain. Hello. As a matter of fact, you're going to find what you're good at and you're going to rinse it and you're going to shell it and you're going to mash it up. So stop worrying. 
As it relates to friendship, the friends you have now are trash. <laughs> and I won't call them by names, they're probably watching this now. But they're trash. Your relationships overall and the bonds that you think you're making in high school, actually they're trash. But guess what? They're temporary but absolutely necessary. And the lessons you learn from these about loyalty, love, honesty or the lack thereof, selflessness and kindness will be with you after. Stop worrying about the fact that you don't have a crew and you, you feel like nobody likes you. Guess what? You might just not be a crew guy. It's alright. But seriously, don't become so consumed with what they think about you. It's not going to be the ones you expect, you know. But as I said, it will be a natural progression of life. So don't waste the time. You could be spending that time working on yourself or something else. Skin. At this point, you're just about to burst the last bump in your forehead and put a little toothpaste on it. I want to tell you to stop, but then I'm here wondering how I'll be able to, as the older Roshane, formulate the skincare product that you're gonna sell in the future if you don't go through this skin struggle. I mean, well at least stop putting the little pieces of band-aid over your face like Nelly. Your favorite idiot, oh, I wrote that, your favorite idiot. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the compromise. Drink more water, don't pick your pimples, I'm begging you. And actually, here's, some, here, here's one more tip to make it easier for me. In addition to leaving your face alone and drinking water, do not use that cream from the lady at church. I repeat, do not use the cream. It is a trap. And one last thing, my friend. You're more handsome than you think. So continue to post your pictures on Facebook with your 100 friends. As it relates to your parents and grandparents, here's what I have to say to you. Okay, so you're not so close to your father at this point, and I don't want to tell you whether or not you will be close to him, but don't stop trying. The fact that you are trying and that you are interested in a relationship with your father exposes you to a part of your heart that you didn't know was there. You realize how much love you have to give and that all you want to do is to give that love. I don't know how else to explain it, but okay, let me try. I tell you to continue this giving of love because it is what makes sure that you are not bitter and cold inside. So you want to give love to your parents? Give it. And I also know that you're very confused about your mother being so far away and whether or not her decision is necessary. Go through the thoughts and emotions you feel because coupled with the love you have in your heart for your mother, you will arrive at a conclusion that makes you love her even more. Take the time out to spend time with your grandparents. Your grandmother is literally your best friend. Love her up. Your grandfather loves you much more than you know and makes a lot of sacrifices for you. Love him up. Love Aunt Ro, she's such a beautiful soul. Just love, love, love. Nobody stress out yourself over things you have no control over. Just love. Your personality. So you're not the most masculine and people are wondering at this point why you don't play football and why you're the public relations officer of every single club. So what? So that's how you are. That's who you are. Own it, claim it. You're just rushing and that's not gonna change. You are a great person. You think there's weakness in crying and that's why you hide and cry. But boy, there's strength in vulnerability. You're gonna cry and you're going to cry and you're going to smile and you're going to laugh and you're going to be angry and all of this is going to make you who you are. Rush, to thine own self be true. Love God, live for God. Be yourself. And when I say be yourself, I mean be whoever it is at the time that you are being yourself. And don't feel bad about it. Don't be so hard on yourself. Yes, life is hard. But hello, you're 13. You will do so many things to shock yourself. You're going to be amazing. I'm shocked at myself writing this right now. Be great. Be bold. Be strong. Be you. With love. You're bigger, bolder, 
heavier, more handsome, with a brighter smile and clearer skin and definitely wiser 24 year old self. Rush. So yeah, those are some of the things I would say to my younger self. You notice that a lot of it has don't worry, don't fret, be yourself, all of those things. And so I would love if you guys would, would share in this with me as well. And down below, you could write just small snippets of letters to yourselves. You can write them in your WhatsApp group so you can share them with your friends and just get the conversation going and remind yourself that you are doing well. You are not exactly where you want to be, but you are much further along than you thought you would have been. So you know, yeah, encourage yourselves, encourage each other, and guess what guys, happy National Youth Month. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Pack up with positivity. Let's go. Pack up with positivity. Hello, pack up. Bye. Gotta go. Bye.